Hi, my name is John Reed, author of 50 Things to See with a Small Telescope. I'm going to show you how I photograph the International Space Station. So, to photograph the space station, you need a few things. First, you need your digital camera, a DSLR. You need an adapter for that camera. In my case, I have a 2-inch adapter. If your telescope is a little bit smaller uh, and has a one and a quarter inch eyepiece, you will need a T adapter and then the adapter for your camera. You also need a remote shutter, your telescope, a spotting device, like it, such as a Telrad. The finder scopes are a little bit harder to use, but a, a Telrad or a red dot finder works best. And then I also need, um, this is a Barlow, the Barlow will, ex will extend the focal length of the telescope so that the camera uh, can focus on things in space. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is find the station and know when it's going to come up. So to do that, you use a program called Sputnik is the best one. And the reason to use Sputnik is that it shows you a diagram of what the space station is going to look like as it comes up into the sky. So there's a few things you want in your pass. You want the space station to go high in the sky, so you want it to follow a path that goes straight up and over your head. Otherwise, the space station is going to be too far away to photograph. You can also use the NASA app if you want as well. Okay, so now I'm going to set up the, the telescope to be able to take these photos. First thing you want to do, take the lens off your camera. You need to drop in your adapter, line up the red dot. I'm going to add my Barlow. That. And so I need the telescope like this. Turn on the Telrad. Take off the cover. And now we are all set up. So, the camera settings that you want to use are first you want to set it to manual, and then I'm going to use 6400 ISO, and for my exposure, I'm going to use 1 1600th of a second. I'm going to plug in the remote shutter, test it. And, okay, so the camera's working right now. What I want to do is I want to test it on a star that's about the brightness of the space station. So you could choose Arcturus, Sirius, Antares, um, bright stars like that. So the space station is going to be about magnitude minus 2, minus 3. So those are some pretty good references. And so what you'll be doing there is you'll be looking at the finder scope, taking a quick picture of those stars, using it to focus and making sure that your Telrad is also aligned. Um, because if you can take a picture of one of those stars, you can take a picture of the space station, no problem with these settings. So, for example, let's get a star in the sight. Picture. You'll see the star on the screen. Okay, we're in good focus. Maybe you'll need to adjust the focus a bit. You can do that by looking in your viewfinder. Or a really, uh, a really great way to do it is get the, get the star in your viewfinder and then zoom in with your live view and then focus. Because you need a really sharp focus to, uh, to photograph the space station. So after you get the warning from Sputnik that you have 30 seconds to uh, see the station, start looking in the direction that it recommends. So let's say we see it coming right there. We can spot it in with the Telrad and take your first photo. You know? Now you can check the camera and see if, see if you got it. So you'll need to zoom in. Okay, I got it. You go back, get the station again in the site, take some more pictures, follow it up. It's going to be getting brighter and brighter as you go and closer and closer. The best pictures are going to be taken when the space shuttle is right above your head. So keep going. You might want to get as many as 50 or 60 photographs. Um, and of those, maybe only two or three will turn out. 
keep taking the photographs, get it in the site. You know, the space station spends one or two minutes right above your head. So what you could do, if you want, in the middle, you can, again, hit the play button and see how you're doing, see how it's coming along, okay? Uh, you might need to adjust the focus again. So really quick, you would just pick a nearby star, focus it, go back to the station. Get as many photos as you can, and get back, when you get back to your house, pull them up on the computer, and take the ones that are the, the clearest, really. Now the space station rotates as it goes, at least from your vantage point, as it, as it passes over you. So when it's over here, you'll see more of the panels, and when it's overhead, the panels will be side on, because usually you're viewing the space station uh, right after sunset. What you can do that's really fun, though, is um, drop the, the pictures you've taken into video software like Final Cut and play them in succession and make a movie, and you'll see the space station pivoting like this, which is really cool. Well, I hope you're able to get some great photos of the space station. If you do, post them as a, as a link below, and I'll check them out. Um, and again, if you enjoy this video, uh, please think about purchasing my book, 50 Things to See with a Small Telescope. It's available uh, for Kindle and in soft copy on Amazon.com. Thanks.